All right guys, today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your own boards for the Shredders game. First thing you're gonna do if you don't already have it is download GIMP. I will have a link in the description. Second thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is get Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. Also, I will have a link in the description. You will get it from this link right here. You're gonna click that, it's gonna download. You're going to extract it. It'll be like this. Get net point 5.0 folder and then in there scroll all the way down and there is Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. That's the application we'll be using shortly. Third thing we're going to want to do is find the board that we want. So we're going to go to Google and what do we want? We want Burton, we want Capita, do what we want Lobster. Let's see, let's go Capita. Why not? Capita Snowboards. Go Images. And to find the highest resolution board we, picture we can, we're going to go Tools, Size, Large. And then in here, we'll find a board. That one already is in there. So we're going to find a different one. Look at this one right here. 768 oh we can do better than that let's see let's see let's see Ooh, I like this one ends kind of cut off but that'll work open image in new tab copy the image and then we're gonna get our template so I also have a link in the description for my shredders templates PSDs and we are gonna do a capita one so why not either the capita mercury or the capita dog let's go with the mercury I already have these downloaded right here we're gonna go PSD so capita mercury double click that to open it with our GIMP application and we're gonna make sure that we're on this layer here and we're going to paste I'm gonna rotate find a rotate tool if yours does not look like this all you have to do is go edit preferences a little window will pop up and then in the toolbox area all you do is unclick use tool groups and then it'll look like mine click your rotate tool rotate it and then if you want you can get the PNGs as well. And we're doing the Capita Mercury. So we're going to double click that to open it. So we're going to make sure that this is upside down. And this looks like the bottom of the board. And this looks like the top of the board. So we're going to minimize that. Oops. No, it's not to minimize. We're going to move this in there. By clicking the move tool it goes behind the image because everything's masked and we're gonna have to rotate this so we'll rotate it another 90 degrees use these little marks to turn it and then we'll click our move tool again to move it back in the behind the mask might have to resize a little bit so we'll click our scale tool and see how it's wide wider than the, the template so we'll squish it down a little bit squish that side down a little bit and our axes are locked right now so we can't technically made it make it fatter without making it wider if we click this that'll unlock our axis now we can make it wider and longer Just about got it there a little bit wider maybe and it fits in there oh maybe a little bit more this side and if we grab from either side these boxes we can make sure that we're not stretching it downwards or width wise 
I'm holding control to zoom in and out as well, it's scrolling. And it looks like we might have it there. If we can't get it quite fitting like that, we can still copy it because we don't want to resize our next on our bottom here. Then we're going to anchor it. We can go fix this here by grabbing our color picker clicking right here click OK grab our paintbrush change our our uh, brush to whichever we want we're gonna go with the small one here we're just gonna brush that in there we go then we can go to the bottom right click edit and paste now we have the bottom in there check this flipped upside down so that's the bottom looks correct now we don't even have to do anything maybe a little bit of resizing that looks pretty much bang on to me oh other than that but just like before, color picker, closest to, okay, and paint that in. And anchor. Now our board is basically done. Now we just have to bundle it. That's the difficult part. Not really difficult, but it's the longer, longer part. Export as. PNG and we don't know what this one is unless we go back and find out what it's called but black black very descriptive black we're gonna save it to our desktop export export again And there's our black. Now, we have to get a, either we can go to our games files, which is a little bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So I also have a link to these files right here, which are my board backups. So we are working on the cap and a mercury. So there's the cap and a mercury right there. We're going to open up our Unity Asset Bundle Extractor with this application here. F click File, click Open, and then we're going to access our Shredder's Backup Desktop. Now we got to find it. Shredder's backup. Ports. Capita Mercury. Open. Click a memory. And then we go info. Scroll down. Click the second last. Click OK. Now we find the texture graphic. Texture 2D graphic this one right here click it click plugins edit texture ok load now we find our texture which is also on our desktop this one here click open click save file save click the X and then because we don't want to type all that stuff out we can go back to our backup folder, click rename, copy this, control C to copy, go back here, click file, save, and then control V 
save. It's going to put it right there. And then we can put that into our game. So from put it into our game, we're going to go here. And then I believe I, yes, game pass, shredders, content, shredders, data, streaming assets, AA, standalone Windows 64, and copy right in there. Replace the file, continue, and now we can open up our game. Give it a moment. There's shredders. Click play. And look at that, we got a nice new board. Enjoy making your own, guys. Peace out.